Do you know who will be the first, the first trillionaire in history? The first trillionaire in history. It's going to be the person, male or female, who makes a cell phone battery that will actually last. Who makes a cell phone battery that will actually last. That is going to be the first trillionaire in history. You know, you would think we can send somebody to the moon. We can make a car ride on electric power. We can do so much with tech. But I was, <laughs> I was uploading a, a preaching video this morning, waiting for the fog to clear out, and the phone just died. I mean, it just up and dies. They're so expensive. And with all this, you would think that someone would create a cell phone, iPhone, smartphone battery that, that would last. So my prediction is the first trillionaire in history is the one who creates a long-lasting battery. Now, let me spiritualize that. For the Holy Spirit, is the battery the holy spirit is the power for the christian now are you listening to me are you listening to me acts chapter 1 and verse 8 you shall receive power hallelujah after that the holy ghost has come upon you and you shall be witnesses to jerusalem judea samaria and to the uttermost parts of the world many people are trying to live the christian life without the power. Jesus said in Luke 24, you shall be endued with power from on high. But that only comes from tearing and waiting and getting filled with the Holy Spirit. Paul told the Ephesians, be not drunk with wine, but be ye being filled with the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is the power of God and he flows one way. He moves only within the parameters of the finished work of Christ on the cross. He flows from the altar. Put your faith in the cross today exclusively to the exclusion of all of the objects of faith and the power of Almighty God, the power that raised Jesus Christ from the dead, power to heal the sick, power to raise the dead, power to cast out demons, power to deliver you, power to break every generational curse will come. But it is the power of the Holy Ghost. And Paul said in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, he said, I don't want to know anything except Christ and Him crucified. Why? Because 1 Corinthians chapter 1 says, the message, the logos of the cross is the power of God. Do you want power to beat alcohol? Do you want power to beat drugs? Do you want power to save your marriage? Do you want power over pornography? Do you want power over masturbation? The power of God comes one way, through the Holy Ghost, and the Holy Ghost comes only through faith in the cross. Hallelujah. This is Evangelist Mike Dial on the open road preaching the gospel. I love y'all. Remember, Jesus is still the answer. Amen.